Welcome back to Undisputed. It's time to dive into a Super 6 NFL Sunday, the free-to-play game where you can win up to $250,000 of Terry Bradshaw's money. And one of the Super 6 matchups this week is an NFC North battle. The Detroit Lions visiting the Chicago Bears. The same Bears are off to a rough start this season. They've already lost more games than they did all last year. And Mitch Trubisky has a plan to help get the team back on track. Yesterday, the QB said he is trying to get TVs turned off inside the Bears practice facility because of outside criticism. Trubisky said there are too many people talking about the team and they need to have earmuffs on when coming into work. So Shannon, <laughs> is this a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah, it was a terrible idea. They ain't talking about the team. They talk about you. Yeah. And guess what, Skip? It's not coming from the TV. It comes from your teammates. It got you been terrible. Skip, the dude is on place to throw for less than 2,500 yards. Their quarterbacks right now, they got almost 2,500 yards where they gave to play. That's how bad Mitchell Trubisky is. I wish they might turn him. Woo, Skip. Can you imagine? Now, I'm a healthy, conscious eater. So I don't want them to bring chicken. I don't want them to bring pizza. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to bring bacon or sausage in there because I eat healthy. Sure. Mitchell Trubisky, play better. So guess what? Because the people that's criticizing, they're not criticizing the team. Mm. They're criticizing you. It is not the TV that's doing it. It's your teammate because you play it awful. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure where you're going with this because, to me, I'm not a Trubisky fan. I told you before the draft no. this was a I bad idea. That. Yes. But I like this approach because last year they called it Zero Dark Ten. That's what his teammate Kyle Long Huh. talked about his social media sort of blackout yeah. where he just didn't read anything on social media. Okay. And it's That's 10, it's 10 because he wears yeah, yeah. 10. So he's asked, are you still in zero dark 10? He said, yep, I'm in that mode. In fact, he volunteered. I even told him to turn down the sound on the TVs or turn it off so I can't hear them. And I don't blame him a bit because that would just be more distraction. It's, it's why, why would you subject yourself to that? Why would you walk down the hall of the place you're preparing to win a football game in and have to look up to somebody saying, he's garbage. He is. Right? Yeah. And, and then they lie. Yeah. You, you get upset when you they lie on you. Okay. They're telling the truth. Okay, but why do you need to let that seep into your psyche? Well, it, why would you? I, I'm with him. It's That's the truth smart. that hurts. It's yeah, the truth that hurts. Okay, well, it's, if it's the truth, you don't need to hear it while yeah, you you're do. trying to salvage a season at <laughs> three and five. How play, how, let me tell you a, a solution mm -hmm. for all this. Yeah. Play better. Hopefully okay. he missed this discussion. Play better. If win, though, the Bears would climb out of last place in the NFC North. But before the NFL games kick off on Sunday, download the Fox Sports Super 6 app and play Super 6 NFL Sunday for free for a chance to win $250,000 of Terry Bradshaw's money. More on So Dak Prescott has led the Cowboys to a 5-3 record, good for the top spot in the NFC East. While when listing midseason team MVPs across the league, Dallas reporter Todd Archer has Dak as the Cowboys MVP. Dak is on pace to have career highs in both passing yards and touchdowns as he continues to play while negotiating a contract extension. So, Shannon, do you agree? No. And I'm sure you have profound respect for Todd Archer. I just know he's covered the Cowboys for a number of years. I don't really know him. Never met the man. Wouldn't know that man if, if he walked up. Mm. Sorry, I don't know that man. He's really good at what he does. Hey, he really, I, he was, until until he wrote this article, mm. he was doing great. I thought yeah. he was. A, I thought he was a, a Pulitzer Prize winning, you know, journalist. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Until he wrote this, I said, I do, no, no. Mm. Pull, pull the card. Stop it, Skip. You know better than that. Because mm. if he was, if he was, if that was what you said he is, Jerry would have no problem. Blank check that. Mm. You fill it out. Oh, really? That's what he would do. Mm. But that's what they, that what they about to, what all the other teams do for their mm. franchise quarterback. Mm. Low balling him. Yep. Trying to get, uh, but anyway, the most valuable player continues to be Zeke Skill, Skip. And you know that his mere presence has a drastic impact on Dak. Without him, I guarantee you, mm -hmm. flip the rolls. Put a quarterback back there and still let Zeke get back there and run the thing. Zeke gonna get his yard. Mm. Take remove Zeke, because I already saw this happen in 2017. Mm -hmm. I saw what old Dak looked like. Mm. They look good, Skip. Mm. Woo. I thought we were talking about 2019. Yeah, we Huh. My guy, old Zeke Elliott. Mm. He's actually my guy. Da -da -da -da. You don't even think he's the best oh, back in the league. I know. But, uh, but uh, mm. hold on. Mm. Just because you're not the best back in the league mm. doesn't mean you're not the MVP of your own team. Mm. Huh? Hmm. So what? You is Tom Brady the MVP? But he the best player in the most valuable player on that team right now. Well, actually, it's Stephon Gilmore, but that's nothing here nor there. But anyway, Skip Bayless, you and I both know hmm. it still flows through. 
the guy that drink. If you want to drink, Mm. And you want to stir it real nicely? Yeah. The straw that they put in that thing oh. is Zeke Elliott. Really? Yeah. All I know for sure who isn't the MVP in Dallas, and it was LeBron James on Friday night. No. He was not the MVP in Dallas. Am no. I right? No, no. Am I right? No. no. Am I right? He no. was not Did the MVP. Did you see what he did in that stat line? Yeah. Mm. Oldest man ever. The yeah. oldest man ever. They even started playing basketball, Jen, in 1946. Oh, yeah. The oldest man ever to have a stat line like that. He ran from the last shot. No, he didn't. Dak he ran Prescott to a victory. doesn't run from any oh, pass. How he he tries them all. <laughs> Dak Prescott will try anything at any time, and he pulls off most of no, them. No, he don't. Aiden Seftry says he doesn't pull He's it off. He's the leader of this team. That's true. He is the big game, big stage playmaker That's of this Zeke. team. He is the gamer. He is the baller. He is the come from behinder. He is all of the above, and he is having his best year yet for the Dallas Cowboys. 15 and 8 is best, huh? 5 and 3. That's the best one he got. He's averaging nearly 300 passing yards per game, which is a career high. And all I used to hear from you is, oh, can't he even throw for 200 yeah. yards? Well, guess what? He's now at 300. And guess what? He's at 70% completion rate, which is the best of his career. And guess what else, Mr. Sharp? What? He's third in the whole NFL in air distance of passes. 9.7 yards per attempted pass. Behind who? That's third. It doesn't matter who it's behind. But all I've heard from you is dismissing Dak and Dunk. Well, if, if you're throwing at the third farthest passes of the of the whole league, I don't think you're dacking and dunking anymore. Well, the guy that's taking off, you see, you see what uh, Jarwin did. Mm. He goes 42 yeah, yards. I'm just see. talking about the air distance, the pass travels. Well, he throw, he throw third in the league. And completing 70%. What is he? Which brings us back to QBR. My man has led the whole league in QBR. He never finished All the top. way until last Sunday when he fell behind by two tenths of a point behind Russell Wilson. Two really, tenths of a point. I don't really know how that's, you know, any yeah. of my business well, or why it concerns me. But the, but he that, ain't in first. Boy, that we talk about first to, place here. Boy, that adds up to MVP of the Dallas Cowboys, if not MVP conversation. And he ain't in no conversation. Yes, he is. It, if, if it's an MVP conversation yep. between you and Jerry. Y'all yeah. the only yeah. two having that conversation. Ain't nobody outside of you and Jerry and Cowboy delusional mm. fans having a conversation about Dak Prescott being an MVP. Meanwhile, as much as I love me some Ezekiel Elliott. What? Not having the year that he's had the past couple. What? Not having it. Skip. He's sixth in the league in rushing, and if what? we want to just do it per game, he's fourth in per game rushing. But that's not first the way he's been. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Mm. Is the season over? No. So there's a good chance that good where does Zeke go in? I thought we were talking about what's happened through the first eight games. Okay. Right? My guy is I just made the, the sh closed and shut case. Your for guy MVP. is fourth in interceptions. Yep. Mm. My guy is sixteen yards. Mm. That's what my guy is. Sixteen yards. Yeah. yeah. Your guy so, is fourth in interceptions. Here's though. what happened in the three losses. At New Orleans, Ezekiel Elliott carried it eighteen times for a grand total of thirty five yards. You what like that, that what Mr. Sharp? What was that numbers? Yeah, they're much better than no, that. No, 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 no. Okay. So this is the driving force. This is the MVP you yeah. said. Eighteen for thirty five. Well, okay, okay. Then it gets Green Bay as they fell woefully behind. He had tried twelve carries for sixty two yards. That's this five yards. Good that's five, hold on. That's five yards of carry. Could I okay. interest you in that, Jenny? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the Meanwhile, my guy's throwing for 463, including 323 in the okay. second half. All I know. Seriously? I, all I, this is what I know. It's over, Shannon. Skip. All, this is what we do know. This is not conjecture. This is not innuendo. This is not speculation. When the score, Green Bay Packers, when the score was in one touchdown, Dak Prescott had three interceptions. Mm -hmm. Zero Two, touchdowns. not his fault. You, you signed off on that. I didn't sign off on that. The day after the game, you said, no, you're right. Skip. No, not I did, his no, fault. I did that. I did that. Hold yep. on. Skip. All I'm saying that, now, all I'm saying is that when the score, the Dallas Cowboys had a chance to be within one score mm -hmm. of the Green Bay Packers, Dak had interceptions, mm -hmm. no touchdowns. It was not until the game got out of hand. 31-3 people would consider out of hand where he got It's not out of hand for my quarterback. Garbage. Uh, what, what did he do, Skip? He threw for 323 in the second half. That's what, outrageously great. What did he get him? Yep. Did he win the game? He got him within a box, no, no, no. short field goal, you just know a what? chip shot field goal of an onside What kick. I did, and this is another thing I took on my end, got him within a shot, almost, mm -hmm. and QBR. Mm -hmm. They're off the menu. Oh. And then at Jets, what happened in the first half is they fell into that hole. Why Your he... driving force of the team yeah. carried 10 times okay. for 35 okay. yards oh, no. in the first I half. You say that. Every time he's going, I'm going, Zeke. Okay, okay. You, you can't even get out of the blocks. Okay, okay, you're right. My driving force. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, 
What was your MVP doing? Ooh. The MVP possibly of the NFL. Once what was he again, doing? He brought them all the way uh, back to within a two point conversion on an obvious pass interference of 24 all going to overtime. What, Skip, Obviously. Skip, if you don't mind me asking. It's, it's over, Skip, it's if you okay. don't mind, Skip. I just want to know one thing. If you don't mind me asking, if he. Is he not playing in the first half? Mm. Because he keep doing a lot of... The, I, well, Skip, I used to run track, you know. I was always winning the race. I never had to come from behind because mm. I was in the front. I'm in the front. front, they in the back. So I'm trying to figure out if your guy's so the MVP... How did you run a 4-8-40 for the Dallas Cowboys? <laughs> I don't know. 4-8? You see? That, that, I bet they wish they'd have had me. Mm. Yeah. Nah, they, think about how many sure bowls they, they would have got I'm if sure they'd they had old Shea running them things. Really? Uh. Shannon, our first half MVP is my guy. So Zeke. I love Zeke. Zeke. Yeah. Zeke. It's okay. Zeke the freak. I Zeke. I hope he turns back into the freak. Zeke the freak eats. Yeah. You win. Okay. Well, he better eat Sunday night because oh. my quarterback will show up I'm and show out. To it. No, no, Seriously. You, won't. you know, Skip, at the beginning of the year, you had said, mm -hmm. I said, I like Dak and I might join mm -hmm. this Dak bandwagon. And you said, We don't need you. Mm. So I've been waiting for Sunday for a very long time. Okay. So just so you know, I've, I haven't forgotten that you said, We don't need you on the mm. Dak. Train, so well, you're a Vikings fan. We don't need you. Well, I was impressed by his character and leadership, yeah. so it's I haven't high. forgotten. And Sunday is the day. So you're gonna get revenge? Or are you predicting a Vikings victory? Yes, of okay, course. Okay, good. Clearly, <laughs> <Got it>. clearly, <laughs> are the critics starting to get the best of Mitch?